We have sex. I, mean, I don't know what to say. I didn't think you had to do it. I also didn't think you'd do this. And then more. Like, I'm honestly quite scared. No, you didn't misread the title. Yes, I'm actually doing that. I don't know why. It just kind of happened. Before I start, not that I know how to start, but I just think I need to clarify where I got this recording from. No, he did not entail me breaking into his house and recording him while he showers. This was recorded before my birth. I'm just saying, since I possibly wasn't even a fertilized egg yet, I don't think it would have been possible for me to be the culprit of where this came from. Now, when I initially did this voiceover, I actually didn't know there was a video that went with this audio. I only had the audio. This means that parts of the video were only working off audio. That's also why the audio might be a bit disjointed at parts, some bits have been added in in post, etc, you get me. So, with that being said, I'm gonna analyse it somehow, I don't even... Ugh. Before you ask, no, I don't know why this was recorded or how it ended up on the internet, but anyway... Here Joe is singing in the shower. People tend to sing in the shower because showering is calming and relaxing. This relaxation releases dopamine. Dopamine helps get creativity flowing in you. Also, since showering is done in private, well, it was before I started analysing it to the entire internet. Basically, showering is a good time for a creative person like Joe Hoyt to come up with ideas for his songs. There isn't a whole subreddit dedicated to shower thoughts for nothing. It's a common thing that people think are weird things in the shower. It is fair to note that this version of Turn the Lights Off does not have any lyrics. I assume based on his role in the band and also just in general how it sounds, he's trying to imitate a guitar. Though he does appear to sound like he says off when he would say off in the song. <laughs> This could mean that despite assuming that he hadn't written the lyrics yet, in reality he might have and just not be singing them for whatever reason. He continues to sound like he's imitating a guitar during this part. However, as this part goes on, he begins to sound less and less like he's imitating a guitar and more like he's just making noises. Noises that vaguely sound like turn the lights off just due to the rhythm and tune. He's definitely eased more into the kind of like humming kind of sound. This bit sounds different to the final recording. The final version would sound a bit more like, excuse my humming, da 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 but this part doesn't quite sound like that in this version. It does still have that rising and falling kind of sound to it though. Could this be a different sound that it was originally meant to have? Maybe. Could it just be Joe not recreating it properly in the shower? Yes. He's completely leaned into the jazzy quality and I quite like the sound of it. It has a lot more swing to it, you know? Again, the bit that goes like da 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 kind of sounds a lot less like, well, it does in the final version. Glad this change is made because that sounds quite iconic to turn the lights off. Still, quite a nice jazzy kind of hum to it. At this point though, the song is interrupted. Whatever it is, it's clearly in a plastic container. It could be like shampoo, shower gel, Bacardi, it's it's Joe Hawley. He'd put anything in a plastic container and bring it into a shower. When I first heard just the audio by itself, I assumed that he like placed it down, like he dropped it, kind of like he does with this like face wipe here. Although upon seeing the footage, I believe that he actually just knocked something over, which kind of makes this even more funny. He continues to do his little hum, but you know, it gets cut off. Now as for what we see visually, huh? look boring, I don't even think it sounds weirder than it already does. Remember, it's the fan's fault that this is happening. As I was saying, since we can't see inside, we can't really tell where the shower head is, but because of where the wall is, I'm gonna assume he begins at facing the shower head. And then he turns around. We can't really be sure of whether Joe's the kind of person who faces the shower head or doesn't face the shower head, but because of the way he faces for most of the clip, I'm gonna assume he faces away from the shower head. Good, because that's the correct way. Stupid borer. And stupid Rob. My guess was how this was recorded was he recorded a video where the curtain was not drawn and then he kind of masked that over a video where the curtain was drawn. I don't know, do with that information what you will. Although Joe looks like the kind of psychopath for like cold showers, we can tell it's probably a warm shower from the fact there's steam coming out of the bath. Something that would only come off if he's taking a hot shower. Unless he's like smoking weed in the bath, which I doubt, so it's gotta be a warm shower. Actually, this did take place in 2006. And there was obviously two videos, there's like one where he's in the shower and there's one where the curtain's just drawn. So for all we know, maybe he was smoking weed in the bath. Also, it looked like he went to catch the thing that fell before it fell and then failed. But if I'm being honest, it just kind of makes it look like he got punched in the gut. <laughs> like, I might rap like an English chap. Take it by the knickers and I'll got your punch. <laughs> in other words, be careful, Hawley. So once again, I prove that I'm the weirdest Tally Hall content creator. Like, you all thought Mucka Blucker analysis was bad, well look at Joe Hawley's shower analysis. Like, I don't know, I guess it's original at the very least. I mean, that's that's what you want, right? What are, what are you doing? What? Your sign doesn't even line up what I'm saying. Well, 
I just thought that maybe the people who watch videos might want to get involved. You're not trying to do a hint, are you? I'm sorry if I wanted to include all your fans. But your sign language is so bad, you're a hearing learner. Hey! What? You know you're just being mean. More like being honest. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna leave me in tears. Great, I'm a good tear maker and you're annoying. Oh, oh well, you're nice, aren't you? Oh, well, be mature. Storm off then. Cut the cameras. All right, where was I? Oh, yes. Would you rather this or the a millionth Hawaii part two analysis? You'd rather the a millionth Hawaii part two analysis. Okay, right. Well, too bad. I'll continue to be the weirdo that analyzes Tally Hall Manspread. <laughs>